Slanted columns were introduced in Revit Structure 2010. While this was a, a much needed rendition to 2010, and it stopped us having to use a beam instead of a column, there were some limitations whilst creating these. One of the main limitations was, was that we had to place this column either in a section or in elevation view. So in 2011 we can now place the column in plane view and simply specify which level the column begins at and also which level it ends at. Another limitation was the appearance of the column once we've drawn it. We had uh, no real control over the base cut style and also the top cut style. Basically we had to accept the fact that the column would have been cut perpendicular to its neutral axis. So again we can now control that within Revit Structure 2011. So let's take a look first at the cut styles. So I'll begin by selecting a structural column and then we'll open up the properties window. In the properties window you can see that the base level is indeed set to level 1, top level going up to level 3, it is a slanted endpoint driven column, but under the construction heading here you'll see we have a base cut style that we can control and also a top cut style. So let's begin by having a look at the base cut style. So currently it's set to perpendicular. I'm going to now go and set this to horizontal. And instantly you can see that change as implemented on the model. We'll pick the column again up here and we'll choose the top cut style. So here I might want that to be vertical. Okay, so nice and easy to control that. Let's have a look at that again on another column. So we'll pick this column here, base cut style, horizontal, top cut style, also in this instance, horizontal. Okay, so much needed improvement there. But what about the actual definition of a column? So what I'm gonna do is actually uh, draw a, a concrete column in this location. So start by opening up the level one floor plan like so and I'm going to show you now how we can construct a column in plan view so on the ribbon here you can see that we now have the option indeed of picking a vertical column or a slanted column um, the slanted column was the default definition because I basically asked it to create a similar column to what I had over here so all we need to do with this then is when we're defining the column we can uh, tell Revit Structure what level to start the column at and also what level to end it at, in this instance level 3. So I pick my starting position, then my ending position like so. So let's have a look at that in the 3D view. Okay so there's the, uh, the column constructed. Now you'll see that it's not quite meeting up as I wanted with the slab. So again here, what I'm able to do is attach that to the slab. And if we go into the properties here, what we're able to do on the attachment justification, you'll see that we have a new option called tangent. So typically we only had these three options previously, so I could say a minimum intersection with the column, which would give us that sort of uh, appearance there. Maximum intersection. Yeah, which would sort of self intersect with the slab there but still not give me that horizontal cut but now as you can see I can say a tangential cut again quite productive very useful 